Broski Broskies, this is Zach Cloud, and we're continuing our adventure in Plants vs. Zombies with No Sun Challenge. Hey, wanna buy an extra seed slot? It'll cost you $7.50, but you'll be able to choose seven seeds per level instead of six. How's that sound? Uh, sure, I guess. Alright, and hey, when you save up $5,000, i will show you the eight seed slot upgrade. Or so. Yeah. Check you later. Eh, well, I may or may not need it in the future, but most likely not. Oh boy, we've got the vaulters, as well as the screen doors. Let's see, what can I strategically choose against them? Um, puff shrooms. <laughs> and these two for emergencies. This and, these ones because they look cool, this one because it's also purple, and this one because I like it. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. Cease to exist. Okay, this is Sergeant Puffer. Sergeant Puffer is is gonna he's uh, ranked up because well he's gonna be the most experienced shroom on the on the thing. You see, he already has superiority over this dude. He's been around longer. They're coming. Uh, remember when I said that, uh, I would have an easier time editing uh, this series than Minecraft? Not so much the case, um, because the audio likes to desync with this particular game. Uh, it does that to me with, uh, the Orcs Must Die 2 series, too. Uh, my bro has been the one editing that, and he's had a hard time keeping up with my desync. And so now I, I've been having to mess around with audio and stuff when making this series, too. Joy, joy, joy. So that's why I need to be careful with all this singing to the music. Well, at least it helps me keep up with it, with the editing. Uh, whoop, 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 mouse. There we go. Bleh. Sticking out his tongue, you did <laughs> I like all the different zombies in this, and the plants. Everything, like, has personality. Reinforcement. There we go, filled in the ranks. Uh, last time I was talking about how I was pretty darn tough as a teenager, and before I got into this really sorry shape that I'm in now, which that's what's made it really tough for me is the fact that I, uh, you know, used to be so tough and in great shape and everything, and now I'm the total opposite. Oh boy. Uh, let's protect Sergeant Puffer! No! No, Troop, no! Your sacrifice was honorable! Yep, that soldier wanted to protect his superior. Godspeed, anonymous puffer shroom. Godspeed. <laughs> um, but back when I was a teen, I used to be able to take the cold really well, too. Oh. Let's just set one out here. I used to be able to take the cold really well, hardly wear any extra layers during the winter and stuff. Uh, it was cool. Even though it didn't feel cool. <laughs> you know what I mean. But, uh, 
And then I ruined it all this one year I went deer hunting with my dad. It was below, it was 30 below zero Fahrenheit. So that translates in Celsius to very, very cold. <laughs> like, uh, when the nose hairs are, uh, you know, crackling, you know it's pretty darn cold. And, uh, I got hypothermia. I, I, I was refusing to go in and quit. We weren't seeing any deer at all. But it turns out it's because it was too cold even for the deer. Even the deer knew not to be out in temperatures like that. No! Sergeant Puffer! No! We must avenge our leader. Oh no, we lost Sergeant Puffer. Uh-oh, the vaulter. I wasn't even paying attention. Um, uh... Let's hope I can get him. Phew. That was close. I was too rattled by the loss of, of our sergeant. I need to stay alert. I gotta stay focused. Yeah, when I, uh, was in that, uh, deer hunting situation, it's like, I, sh I should have refused, should have gone in, but I just wanted to be even tougher, and I wanted my dad to be proud of me, and, and, and I figured if I could take this cold, then I'll be really, really strong against the cold, and it'll never bother me again. Nope. Instead... What happened was I got the hypothermia, I got frostbite on my toes and fingers, I I became delicate and, and helpless, basically. Uh, I It was really, really bad. I was shivering, literally, for a week. I had to stay bundled up and cover up and and have a blanket wrapped around me 24-7 for an entire frickin' week. It was bad. Um, and after that, ever since then, I've been extremely sensitive to the cold. So sometimes there is such a thing as overdoing it when you're trying to toughen yourself up. Don't do it, people. Don't do it. You can make things so much worse. Now, I've had to even wear gloves in July, for crying out loud. And in America here, that's when it's hot. And I've gotten a little bit better over the years. I no longer have to wear them in the uh, summer, but I still usually have to wear them in the house uh, during the winter, as well as outside, uh, depending on how warm or cold the house is kept. And... Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, at least, you know, they now have really fashionable gloves, so at least I get to look pretty good with them. They have these cool ones that are like skeleton hands that glow in the dark, and they have these flames and, uh, all kinds of really gnarly designs. So that's better than you know, years ago when they just had plain colors and stuff. Uh, we gotta keep keeping up with these guys. All these lanes are getting pretty assaulted. <laughs> gotta keep up. getting pretty tough here. Here comes the final wave now. And yep, these graves are gonna pop and we've got the uh, jumpers and everything. Okay, had to trigger him as early as I could. Okay, we're gonna have to watch all these. Oh, uh, this bottom lane, that's gonna be trouble. Uh, this lane, oh boy. I'm gonna set one of these up here. Wow, these 
these guys just ate it up really super fast. Okay, uh, bottom lane is looking like trouble. I mean, I know we've got our last line, but I'd rather not have to use it up. They're nice and closely... Yes. Awesome. Phew! That was close. Good thing they give us what little sun that they do. Suburban Almanac keeps track of all plants and zombies you encounter. This is a cute little thing. Like, they, they give them little backstories and stuff. Pea shooters are your first line of defense. They shoot peas at attacking zombies. Damage normal. How can a single plant grow and shoot so many peas so quickly? Pea shooter says, Hard work, commitment, and a healthy, well-balanced breakfast of sunlight and high-fiber carbon dioxide make it all possible. And they all go around and... Like, uh... Chomper almost got a gig doing stunts for the little shop of horrors, but it fell through when his agent demanded too much of the fr on the front end. Chomper's not resentful, though. He says it's just part of the business. They have cute little backstories and stuff for everybody. It's cute. <laughs> Ever play a game called Whack-A-Zombie? It's just like hunting squirrels. You know, those furry little rodents that dig holes in your lawn? Yeah, just like that, but instead of squirrels, it's zombies. And instead of a shovel, it's a mallet. And instead of me, it's you! Oh boy. Okay, now we gotta have our reflexes tested. keep up with these guys. I'm probably not going to be talking too much. Whoop. Yeah, and you can get sun so you can make some lines of defense or try to get rid of... See, now you get to see the gray meter in action. One of the few times you'll be able to. And I gotta destroy these guys so that they don't eat him while he's working. Yeah, new graves still keep popping up this whole time. So I gotta keep on my toes. Oh boy, even more graves. Gotta keep up. Me. Oh boy. Uh, this takes like all my concentration. Uh, it's intense. I know I've got some leeway actually. I'm, I'm doing okay so far. But, uh, still, I wanna nip them in the bud as quickly as possible. Oh boy, even another one. Give me some sun, ya land lovers! Come on, there we go. Uh, so much now, but I gotta. Uh. Uh. Yee. They're so fast! Yay, yay, yay. I don't even have time to spin anything. Ah, uh, something fell off my desk. I don't have time. Don't care. Ah! Uh, oh, I shouldn't have done that. It was the final wave. Ah! Uh, oh no! Oh no! Yay, 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 Ugh! Not so good! Ugh! Phew! <laughs> that was tough! Hypno Shroom makes a zombie fight for you! Yep, it turns them, uh, to your side. Uh, oh my gosh, the football zombie. You can, uh, uh, later on you can, like, view them in the almanac. Ugh, they're tough. They are so tough. They're pretty much gonna get ya. Uh, but let's get what little 
stuff we can against them. Usually you want to use the Hypno Shroom on them, but, uh, well, can't afford it. Bereft of Life. Another thing about the cold weather, which is uh, why I have a really hard time in winter, is I have what's called whiplash syndrome. It's where you get whiplash and it never gets better. The pain in your neck remains for the rest of your life. Uh, it's very poorly understood. It doesn't show up on medical uh, instruments, so they kind of assume that it's fake, except it's real. Because uh, it's not like I just woke up and decided one day, you know what, I like being in pain. I'm just gonna stay in pain. <laughs> you know, it, it's... I don't know what causes it, but it happens, and it's documented in other people, so... But anyway, uh... When my ears get cold, my neck hurts really bad, and, and it sucks. So it's like, I gotta keep my ears warm. I've got several ear warming bands, and I've got several hats that I can wear, sometimes even around the house. Like, uh, my sister and bro-in-law, whose house I'm currently living at, they uh, keep it pretty cold downstairs. Upstairs is okay, but uh, downstairs it's pretty bad. Uh, so I gotta wear my hat around the house and often wear my gloves downstairs too. And pouring it on. to be careful with my temperature management all the time. I can't believe that I went from being practically immune to the cold to being such a wuss about the cold. But like I said, that's what happens uh, when you try to overdo getting tough. Now, I really I shouldn't have put this guy here, because I'm just going to let this row go, honestly. This guy, he's pretty much not worth trying to stop uh, at this particular point. Because you see, we haven't even, well, only just now have we put a single dent in his helmet. And you gotta blow that sucker off before you even have a chance to kill him. So, we're gonna concentrate on the other lanes for now and then reinforce this lane when it becomes close to time to uh, defend it again. Because so like I said, they have a cooldown period for a little while, and uh, uh, before other zombies start coming in again. They'll almost certainly come in, in the final wave, and then it'll be very important to keep this lane protected since now it's vulnerable. This lane and this lane are going to be difficult in the final, so let's put some extras, uh, extra shrooms here too, because of all these graves, plus the ones that naturally will be spawning on the lane. I'm gonna wait with the walnut and potato mines. Uh, if, if this one looks like it's gonna be unmanageable, I'll use one of them in this lane. Uh, otherwise, all the rest, you know, can afford to lose a lawn more. There will be times in the future where losing lanes will become a strategy, even. Okay, let's see. Okay, this one will make it. Let's try to keep this lane. Yeah. yeah, top one, no hope. This one, looking pretty bad. But the most important ones are protected. Yeah, these two don't look 
like they're gonna make it. Yep, bottom one is gone. This one, we might be able to save. Yeah, we got this one. So we're left with two mowers out of five. Pretty bad. Now this, this sometimes we can use. The Scaredy Shroom. Long range shooter that hides when enemies get near it. See, these are kind of like the pea shooters. They can shoot all the way across the map, which makes them very useful. But if an enemy gets too close to it, then it hides because it's so shy. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, and some, in some of these missions, it will be instrumental, especially against the football players. But uh, we'll deal with these next time uh, when we play some more. See you later, broskies!